So who is Rav Menashe Klein? Just died in uh, 2011. He's a genius, says history professor Mark B. Shapiro, and the most extreme and the most fanatical of anyone writing on Jewish law today. He wanted to recreate the way things were done in Hungary. So Haredi Judaism today is this kind of newfangled thing. You have all these Torah classes for women, special classes for women. Nasha Klein writes, whoever heard of women's shiurim, Torah class, in the old country? A woman goes out to a Torah class, then the man has to stay home and watch the children. So Menashe Klein wants traditional Judaism the way Judaism was practiced in the past. So even the Haredim today, the ultra-Orthodox, come up with these new ideas. Uh, for instance, taking your wife to hear the reading of uh, the Torah portion Zachor. Traditionally, Torah authorities said women do not have to hear this. They don't have to go to shul. So this is kind of an American thing for Orthodox women to come to shul to hear Parshas Zachor. So Yichas, who you descended from, doesn't matter much today, even if you're in Lakewood. People there will say, Yichas, don't matter if you're a good Torah learner, you're a good Torah learner, no matter where you come from. Traditionally, Yichas, your descendants, was of preeminent importance. and That's why, according to Rav Menashe Klein, a convert and a Baal Tshuva, a penitent, they have no Yichas. So those who are Orthodox from birth should not marry them.